Bonjour et bienvenue à une nouvelle vidéo de Samar Ricky. Welcome, my loves. Welcome to a new ASMR Ricky video. Today's video has been lovingly sponsored by Bubble, and I will talk more about them later. First off, I want to introduce today's video. This video has been requested by four different people, <laughs> so I will pop all of your comments on the screen here. Um, two people, Amina and Pixie, um, asked for a cord cutting video specifically geared towards letting go of friendships. Um, and then Bene, I think that's how you pronounce your name, asked for a gentle cord cutting video. And then we also have Lori, who specifically asked to focus on healing the root of the cord um, once we've plucked it, to really sort of allow and kickstart that healing process. So, I thought all four of those requests combined really well together, so I hope you enjoy. <laughs> so, today's video will be about cord cutting and helping you to let go of relationships. I'm going to pull it broader than just friendships. It could be romantic partners that you're wanting to let go of or really anyone that you feel is no longer serving you. So, also, last little disclaimer for the intro, there will be louder sounds today, like my singing bowl, my rattle. If you know that those triggers are not conducive to you falling asleep, then click the playlist above, because it only has videos that are very soft in nature, with no tapping, and no sort of louder sounds. Alright, so before we get into the video, I want to talk a little bit about our sponsor for today, Bobble. I was really excited when they reached out, because I have been meaning to practice my French a lot more. En fait, j'ai vécu à saint jean en laye um, pour quelques années quand j'étais un enfant, but I don't really get many opportunities anymore to practice my French since I live in England. don't have any French friends, so it was really the ideal moment for this collaboration to come in. So, I have been practicing on their app for a week now, and I really enjoy it. I love how everything's together in one app. So, you have the daily sessions that you do. I like to do them every day, but you can do it, you know, how many days a week that you want. Then you have podcasts, which is really good to listen to while doing chores around the house, while going um, to work on your commute or going for a walk. And then you also have live classes that you can sign up for with an actual teacher, like a live Zoom class. So, which is by the way a feature I've never seen on any of the other language apps, so I was really surprised by that. Um, and what I really like about the app is that the daily sessions are geared towards day-to-day -to -day practical conversations. And I personally really love that because I feel like after every class I've done, I'm starting to feel more and more confident in my ability to speak French again because I know that the words and the phrases that I've learned so far are very practical and things you would actually use in day-to-day -day living, so that's really nice. And I also read that 15 hours um, of learning on the app equals one semester at college. So, you're really getting your bang for your buck. <laughs> so, if you are interested in mastering a new language, or maybe you are going on vacation soon and you want to learn some of the basic 
um, phrases that you could use. They have 14 different languages on their platform, so you have quite a few to choose from. So yeah, if you are interested in learning a new language with Babo, you can click the link below for up to 65% feel free to light an incense at your place as well, wherever you are. I mean, if you can, if you're watching this at work, that would be a little bit harder. <laughs> but take the time now first to arrive back into the present moment. Become aware of your body and the different sensations you can feel in your own Once you're reconnected with your body, start deepening your breath. And feel free to take your time slowly building the breath up again. There's no need to push yourself from the first inhale to the extreme. So just allow every new inhale to be a tiny bit bigger and deeper than the previous. go over your whole body here. This kind of helps us to prime um, our energies for cleansing and also helps us protect while we're opening the channels. Okay. As usual, this one will stay on for the remainder of the session. So, the first thing we're going to do now is cleanse a little bit deeper and actually cut some cords with the scissors. Um, and then after that, we'll kind of focus in on the healing aspect. But first, we want to kind of weed the garden, let go of whatever is holding us back from healing, whatever is holding us back from being able to let go of that relationship. Um, for the remainder of the video, I'll continue using the word relationship, knowing that friendship is a type of relationship as well. Um, just to not confuse you guys. So, I made this rattle. Well, I painted it last weekend. It's got a serpent on it, which symbolizes healing, but also transformation, which I think is perfect for today's video. So, just 
tune in to the sound of the rattle. Notice what the sound does to your energy, to your aura. some of that initial energy to already come clear or like unblock itself to me it almost feels like when I use the rattle it's a sort of combing of my field, my energy field sweeps just to check in here and if the rattle shook up some of that energy we want to start clearing it moving along the sides of your body some cords. Just going to sort of brush through them if that makes sense. Untangle them. Feel free to bring a specific person to mind. scissors here. Which I'm going to use to cut the cords. I don't overdo it here. I'm just going to gently cut a few it might feel a little bit weird because now all of a sudden there's some space that opened up and we might not know what to do with that space we might feel uncomfortable with it so if you notice any sense of discomfort allow the discomfort to be there with you allow it to take up space it won't be there forever 
lot of times it's our resistance to feeling uncomfortable that actually keeps us stuck for a lot longer.
the thoughts themselves or the emotions like the droplet of water that you're pushing out of your field towards the edges of your aura so I can easily just remove it for you if you want to go even further imagine that droplet of water the thoughts and the emotions being wrapped in a layer of love so that you let go of them in love without any resistance there's anything else you would like me to pluck that has nothing to do with the content of today's video feel free to push that out as well since we're here anyway healing and love back into it so I feel called to focus especially on your throat chakra and your heart chakra the throat chakra to me I almost see it like a dam where all of the water or the energy from the chakras below it kind of pull together in your throat and if your throat is blocked it stays there stuck but if your throat is open the energy can flow easily out and be processed and then of course we're also focusing in on the heart because this whole video is about letting go of relationships and our relationships are housed in our heart so energetically <laughs> so I have my singing bowl here me. This one is tuned to the throat chakra, so we'll be using it to help open up your throat energetically so that it's easier for you to express your emotions, express how you feel, but also process all of the emotions that are coming through. Vibrate 
on the same tone as a singing bowl, becoming one with it. to help clear the energy even more in your throat chakra. So imagine the energy spinning in your throat, creating a flow of energy. And as the energy spins on itself, it removes any blockages any pockets of static energy. You can sometimes feel like your throat is softening to the outside world. It's kind of letting go of its grip onto itself, if that makes sense. So, let's now bring our focus down to your heart. I have two beautiful crystals here with me that are perfect for heart healing. The first one is one of my favorite crystals called Fuchsite. It has a silvery kind of sparkle to it. It's perfect to heal relationship traumas. So, that's why I pulled it out. So, just brushing this over your heart. Allow yourself to connect in with the energy of the fuchsia. You could imagine this kind of sparkly green energy wrapping itself around your heart, creating a layer of healing and protection, especially in the parts where we have cut some cords. You could almost imagine it like being energetic fertilizer. It's going to help create health and healing. And in the long run, it's going to help you to call in more healthy relationships. Siderite, which is the prettiest color. It's probably one of my favorite colors. So, take a moment to connect in with it. You could imagine it right in front of your heart center. And 
this crystal has a very soothing, calming feeling to it, like a healing balm, but for your heart. going to brush this one as well through the energy field in front of your heart. You can imagine the soft pinkish purple energy interweaving with the green energy from the um, fuchsia. into the healing process. I have this beautiful oil that I've created which has lavender essential oil and then some dried flowers and we'll be using this as a healing balm to actually place on the spots where we have Cut some cords. So, I'm going to apply a little bit of this on my finger. And infuse it into your energy field. So, I'm just dabbing it where we have cut the cords and plucked those thoughts and feelings around shame and guilt. It smells really good. It's very soothing. of Reiki symbols to infuse those cord roots that we have plucked out to give them healing to give them a little extra energy pack, a little energy snack Let's create another extra layer of protection around you. Just gonna fluff all of this up. To give it a little extra blanket. So that while it heals, it's comfortable and protected. called to end the session with the rattle one last time to kind of help everything sink in and lock into place gentle 
shake we're just focusing on solidifying that healing allowing the healing to take root strength to sit with the discomfort as you heal because there truly is no shortcut to healing the only way to heal is to sit with your pain sit with the discomfort that comes along with it and that's truly the fastest way to heal we delay the process or we use ways to distract ourselves from the pain we end up prolonging it so even though it might seem daunting to sit with it it might feel like for a moment you would get lost in it but trust the process your body can handle this your soul can handle this and the sooner you face the pain, the quicker it'll disappear again. And the quicker there will be space created for you for new things to come in. So, just a bell call to add that in. as we could today. The rest is up to you now. Okay. I hope that you enjoyed this cord cutting and relationship healing ASMR Reiki video. If you are still awake, don't forget to like and subscribe if you feel called to do so. And again, if you want to check out Bobble for learning a new language, you can get up to 65% off by following the link below in the description box. So, I thank you all for being here with me today, and I'll see you guys very soon for a new video.